Hello. Here we are in Star Trek Online. We're not playing Kolos this evening, we're just going to take a wee detour. I'm playing a different character. Here I am entering Vulcan's solar system. Star Trek Online have added something to the game. So we're going to have a wee look and see what it is. Looks like it's put on. A few folks here to have a look. Let's beam down. Come on then. Beam down. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. A little bit of an interesting little glitch there with the game. I'm guessing it's going to be quite popular here. Um, Star Trek Online have erected a memorial on Vulcan to um, Ambassador Spock um, after the death of Leonard Nimoy last week. He's had such a big impact on the role of uh, Star Trek and he has been involved in the game right from the beginning. He has done voiceovers for the game as Spock and he actually even appears in one of the missions. So it looks like we're quite a popular site here in the middle of the fountain on Vulcan. There is a memorial statue of Ambassador Spock. Quite a lot of people here all paying respects, it seems. There's that catchphrase around the rim, live long and prosper. Nice job, Cryptic. Cryptic being the developer of the game. That's very good. Very nice. Indeed we did, we did indeed lose a great man. Here we go. Let's have a wee look at that. The statue's maybe not solid, this person appears to be sitting inside the fountain. Live long and prosper. There's that Vulcan Idic, as it's called, on the behind him. Infinite diversity and infinite combinations. Well done, Leonard Nimoy. Now, not only is there this statue now on Vulcan, there is also a memorial plaque in Earth Space Dock. So we're going to have a quick look at that. Assuming I can leave Vulcan. There we go. Vulcan's obviously popular right now. The game is lagging a little bit there. Okay, Earth Space Dock. We should be very near the Soul System. Yeah, we are. Here we go. Well, as usual never see the place because there's always a ton of spaceships around it. <laughs> Let's have a look. The memorial plaque is somewhere on Space Dock, no idea where. So we're going to on a little bit of a hide and seek. See if we can find it. Let's dock. Hmm. 
feeling we maybe have need of a lot of instances of space stock as well. Right, where could it be? Where is the most likely place they've put it? Around here maybe? Maybe not. Let's have a look around down this side. There's a tailor. It's not likely to be there. Store places, equipment, traders, bank and mail. Not like no, I don't think so. Hmm. The exchange. No, I don't think so. it's going to be there either. It's got to be somewhere sort of relevant. Somewhere easy to see and prominent, but not in the way. Can we find it? It doesn't look like it. Well, wherever they've put this monument, or plaque, it appears to be hiding. there. An event of decompression. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> There's another bank access. Mail access on that side. I imagine it would be somewhere near the transporter. isn't. Hmm. This could be a bit more of a challenge than I thought it could be trying to find a panel on the wall. Security officer. Get a nice view out of these windows actually. There's earth. You can quite just stand here and watch all the ships go by. There's always loads of them. And of course right now there's none of them. <laughs> oh, there's a Vulcan Dekir ship just here. Coming past Earth now. I always thought Vulcan ships looked quite graceful. Long, sleek. Kind of look like they can go really fast. That's a regular thing to see here. <laughs> so where did they put the plaque? A memorial plaque, they said. On the wall, they said. And it doesn't look like it's easy to find. Definitely something not so right here. Hmm. 
Hmm, interesting piece of art. I never noticed that before. Right, okay, this is taking far too long. I'm going to pause the video and we'll join back in a moment when I found this plaque. Looks like I found it. I forgot about this upper deck. Sort of ramp, balcony area that runs along the top. And look at this. There it is. Black flags and mourning of the people we lost. Michelle Barrett, who played Diana Troy's mum, mother, Laxana Troy. She was the voice of the computer. And she was Nurse Chapel in the original series. James Doohan, he was Scotty. DeForest Kelly, Dr. McCoy, and Gene Roddenberry, of course, who started it all. He was the, the dream behind the, the show. And we've also got Leonard Nimoy on there. Let's have a look at what this says. James Doohan. I really didn't have to work, shall we say, with Star Trek. It was all natural. When I opened my mouth, there was Scotty. <laughs> DeForest Kelly. I wanted to be a doctor and couldn't, yet became the best known doctor in the galaxy. Very true, he did, yes. Leonard Nimoy. This was his last tweet. His last ever post to Twitter. A life is like a garden. Perfect moments can be had but not preserved, except in memory. LLAP. Live long and prosper. Here's my job, Barrett Roddenberry. Man must be in space. That is where we're destined for. There is nothing else we can do. It isn't all over, says Gene Roddenberry. Everything has not been invented. The human adventure is just beginning. Oh, that's quite some nice quotes there, actually. Continue. We also have all these other people who worked on Star Trek. I remember seeing some of these names. Alexander Courage, famous for composing the original series um, theme. Uh, what other names do I recognise here? Michael and Sarah. He was uh, one of the three main Klingons in the original series. There was Kor, Koloth and Kang. I forget which one he was though. Uh, William Campbell, I think he was one of them. He was one of the other two. And he was also the Squire of Gothos, if I remember rightly. Uh, there's some interesting names here. Mark Leonard played Sarek, Spock's father, Ricardo Montalban, Khan, wow, what a list of names. Nice. I like that. That's that's an interesting way to remember everyone. Well, there's the um, memorial for all those who have passed, who contributed in some way towards the world of Star Trek. And what a world they contributed to. It's a fun show. I always loved it growing up, and I've continued to, to enjoy it as it's been uh, made throughout various series over the years. Now, in a sort of not surprising move, they didn't just put this plaque on Deep Space, uh, Deep Space Nine, well not on Deep Space Nine, I'm on Earth Space Dock. There isn't just this on Space Dock, and there isn't just the statue on Vulcan. I'm going to pause the video, and I shall be back in a moment. Okay, here we go. We're actually heading towards New Romulus. 
of all places um, because the folks behind Star Trek Online saw fit to do something there as well. The memorial plaque in Earth Space Dock is also on Kronos, the Klingon homeworld. So we'll maybe have a, a quick look on Kolos in a moment and see if we can find where it is. We're going to New Romulus because they've put a statue of Spock there. In The Next Generation there was a, a really quite a, a good two-part story, I thought, called Unification. Which was about how Spock had disappeared from Federation um, stuff and had been seen, been reported to be on Romulus. Um, and the Federation were all quite kind of wondering about is he turned traitor, is he a spy? But no, he was just kind of meeting up with some friends that he had on Romulus and starting to work with them to build up a, 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 a group of Romulans, a, a, a people on, of Romulans who um, were keen to to see the Romulan people reunited with the Vulcans because the Romulans are actually Vulcans who left Vulcan years and years and years and years and years and years ago. So we're going to beam down to New Romulus because this is where the Rep Romulan Republic are. So we're going to have a look. Let's go and have a look around, see if we can find this statue. It should be pretty obvious, I think it just seems to be up here. Yes, there is. They've changed the staircase leading up to the Romulan Embassy uh, and uh, the command centre. They've put this right in the middle. What have they done round the bottom? All these little wee triangles kind of look kind of strange. Right, three of four, you can go and stay over there. You're just getting in my way. Uh, so let's go and have a look and see what this one says. Wow, there's a lot of people here. Not that surprising, of course. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Another of Spock's sayings. Made famous in Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. And there's a variation on the Vulcan Idic symbol. Taking the Romulan wings, the raptor wings, and making the triangle bit a little bit smaller. Wow. Nicely done. Yeah, I quite like that. Look at this. A lot of people here to just remember Leonard Nimoy. A couple of Klingons and Orion. Someone in a motion picture uniform. Did not expect to see that. A Gorn. Wow. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Right. I'm going to switch character to Kolos and I shall meet you guys on Kronos, the Klingon homeworld. Welcome back folks. We're just beaming down to Kronos. We're going to have a look around, see if we can find the memorial plaque here. Let's just minimise the chat window, we don't really want to see all that, we've got any rubbish. Okay. Where would the most sensible place for it be? Is 
See, to me, somewhere in the Great Hall. Somewhere in here would make some sort of sense. We don't know for certain. We need to find it. Sure. Let's go and have a run around and see what we can see. Okay, let's go back the way we came. You can tell I'm sniffing a wee bit. I managed to pick up a wee bit of a cold during the day. Probably means I'm going to be feeling quite ill over the weekend, but never mind. It is just round the back here in memoriam. So there we go. On Kronos, right out in the open, actually, much more visible here. Space dock, it's hidden away on the upper level. <laughs> this guy here doing the Klingon ritual. Shouting out, letting the residents of Stovokor know that there are warriors on the way. Well done. Nice move by him. Right, well, there we go. Somewhat sad, somber sort of video today, but. Uh, I wanted to get this video out. Those observant people will notice that Kolos is level 14 at the moment. A big indication there that he has completed a lot more levels than have been shown so far and there's some videos of him to come out steadily over the next few weeks. So I'm going to log off here and I shall See you next time. Goodbye, folks.